You know, when you walk down that aisle on your wedding day and say, I do, there's a lot more to do. If love is a dream, then marriage is the alarm clock. Greg Laurie here with some thoughts about marriage. If you want a strong and happy and lasting marriage, there's God's part and your part. God wants to bless you. He's told you how to have a strong marriage, but you have to make sure you do your part. Uh, it's like having a garden. You know, if you want a garden to be healthy and happy, then you need to weed it, you need to water it, you need to tend to it. Or it could be like your body. If you neglect your body and don't try to stay in the best shape you can be in, then you'll pay the price for it later in life. Marriage is the same. Put some effort into your marriage. And there's so much I could say, but let me just take two points the Bible says about marriage. It says, husbands, love your wife as Christ loves the church. And it says, wives, see that you respect your husbands. It's two things to start with. Husbands, your objective is to love your wife as Jesus loves his church. Are you doing it? Let me answer that for you. You aren't. We all could do a lot better as husbands. I know I could. Wives, you're to respect your husband and submit to his servant leadership. Start there. Don't quote verses to each other on what the other person should do. Do the part that you're supposed to do. I pray that your marriage will be strong and stand the test of time. Listen to what God says in his word and he will bless your marriage. Tend to your garden. Take care of these things and enjoy the blessing of marriage.